After you followed all of my little tips and tricks to create a model that is just detailed enough that it will load online, but not so detailed that it won't load, as well as a model that has strategic uses of components, of details, and of your own custom image textures as PNG files. After following all of these steps strategically, because even the smallest detail in one part of the model can increase the polygon count by several thousand, after you've done all of this, the model will be ready to upload online. So to do that, you simply export the model from SketchUp or from any other of the softwares that you are using to build the model. On the Sketchfab website, they list the recommended and accepted file formats. So when you're ready in SketchUp, you simply go to File, Export, 3D Model, and you select one of the accepted file formats from the drop-down menu and click export. Once you log in to Sketchfab or create an account if you're a new user, you'll see your page and this is my page with some of the previous models I've uploaded. Click upload and select the file that you've just created. The file will take a moment to upload and to process. And once it's processed, you'll get a notification. One thing to keep in mind is that there is an upward limit to how many image textures the model can support. It's about 100 image textures. And so you'll want to optimize both the number of image textures, fewer than 100, ideally 50 or fewer, and you'll want to optimize the number of polygons. When the model is finished processing online, you'll be able to edit it and add custom features in the settings panel. There are general settings, lighting settings, animation settings. Depending on the model, you'll want to play around with those settings to create the format that works best for you. When you've done that, and saved your settings, the model will be viewed online and ready to load. You can zoom in and see in comparison of the model's appearance in SketchUp, which was a little bit cruder, versus the final appearance online when all the special lighting effects are applied. You can enter full screen and fly around the model that way too, or view it from beneath. The experience of flying through and moving through the model is a lot easier on Sketchfab than it is in SketchUp because Sketchfab is optimized for viewing. Just like in a YouTube video that can be embedded from YouTube to another website or your personal website, the same can be done with Sketchfab models. Just click the embed code beneath the model and copy the settings you need. For instance, I often like to have an animated turntable entrance where the model spins around before focusing in on one detail. You can also adjust the size of the model. I prefer to set my models to 900 pixels wide by 600 tall, but the viewing size on your website depends on the dimensions of your website and the specific application. Just copy the code to your clipboard Paste that code into your website, click Update or Publish, and the model will load. Here's what I see when my model loads. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I wish you luck with building your own models online. Thank you.